This video is sponsored by Cohen Financial. More on them later. So supposedly when Jeff Bezos saw the hedge on this property, he got jealous. Welcome to the channel. This is where I review and critique every single family home that comes on the market in Beverly Hills in about five minutes. And in today's episode, we're going to review a Spanish beauty, 729 North Bedford Drive, Beverly Hills Flat 700 block, listed for close to $18 million. And you know the drill. In the first two minutes, I critique the property on my 10 factors of quality. And then right after that, I will share with you guys how I would have marketed this property differently. And then at the end of the video, I will share with you guys my favorite comp for valuation purposes. How do I know all this stuff? My name is Arvin Hidal. I'm a real estate agent by day based in Beverly Hills and a critic and an analyst and a real estate enthusiast at nighttime. All right, let's get the show started. Location, Beverly Hills flat 700 block. I'm going to give it a nine. Lot quality, close to 18,500 square foot of flat land, but not with the best shape. It kind of narrows as you go deeper into the lot. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Lot orientation, southwest facing. It's a corner lot. And it's a little bit busy. It's not the worst. I'm going to give it a seven. Lot utilization. You don't have an approach with a car because the parking is in the back, but you have a massive frontage, huge front yard. It's actually bigger than your backyard. Your side setbacks are small as you would expect it in the flats. And your backyard is actually still a decent size, even though the lot narrows at the end. I'm still going to give it an eight. Privacy. Extremely well hedged. This type of hedge is normally common in north of Sunset Beverly Hills, but you have it here on the 700 block. Very well protected. You really only have one neighbor. I'm going to give it a nine. Views. It's not a view property. I'm going to give it a zero. Scale and architectural style. Architecturally, it's Spanish. It's quintessential Beverly Hills architecture. But the difference is this one has fantastic scale. Normally, the Spanish homes that are older in the flats that are available have much smaller scale and they just don't have the volume and the ceiling heights that this one has. I'm going to give it an eight. Layout. Wow factor as soon as you walk in. It's traditional, but with great connectivity and a solid indoor outdoor flow. I'm going to give it a nine. Finishes. It's hit or miss. Some areas are done. Some areas are not. I'm going to give it a five. 5.5. The X factor. It's a very interesting product and is very, very unique. The Spanish homes in Beverly Hills are typically very old, very low volume, charming, but not with a good layout. This one delivers that quintessential style with a great package of backyard, front yard, guest house, and also volumes that you really want in the modern living. And for those reasons, I'm going to give it a seven. Now, before I tell you the Arvin score, a word from our sponsor, Cohen Financial. Do you know why I use Mark Cohen for my own mortgages? No, it's not because he's the most successful. Yes, he's originated $10 billion worth of loan in the last 10 years, which is great. It's unheard of, but good for him. What I care for is the fact that he doesn't bullshit me. Over the first phone conversation when I call him, he tells me immediately the best available rate in the market for the product that I'm looking for. And when he doesn't have it, he makes an introduction to the bank that it does. I respect that. He always delivers on his promises. Here's his phone number. Give him a call. And also don't forget to thank him for supporting your favorite channel. All right, the Arvin score is a 71 and that's a C minus. Now you're thinking, Arvin, how would have you marketed this property differently? I'm glad you asked. Look, I really like the photography and the presentation. The house doesn't look cluttered. It's very good. But I would have tried to convince the sellers to utilize this front yard. It's huge. It's a huge opportunity. And I just think they missed it. I can't tell you how many times I've shown five, six, $20 million homes. And in the car, my buyers are talking about the sand volleyball court that this property had and the other one didn't. And the kids can't stop talking about the in-ground trampoline and how much they loved it. This front yard is a huge opportunity. I would have tried to suggest to them, look, maybe a vegetable garden, maybe a playground for kids, maybe a grass or sand volleyball court. These little things don't cost much, but they really differ differentiate your house from other products. It makes it a lifestyle and experience than just a commodity. Now you're thinking, Arvin, so how much is this property really worth? I really like 805 North Linden for valuation purposes, and I will tell you guys why. This property sold for $15 million. It was 2,500 square foot smaller than the Bedford property. It didn't have as good of a layout or the charm that the Bedford property has, but it is in a better location. Now, with the help of an expert, you should start from there and adjust so you don't overpay. Now, give the listing agents a call, and if you want my expertise in this regard, you can reach me at arvin at arvinhedot.com.
Now, if you like this house, you will probably also like this property. They're kind of similar. And I also have to share with you, the content of this video is purely my personal opinion. Real estate analysis is subjective in nature, and I don't guarantee the accuracy of information. In fact, you should go see the property yourself in person. You should review all the information available online. You should contact the city and form your own independent decisions. Now, tell me in the comments below if you agree or disagree with my analysis. And if you want to be notified when a listing comes live on the market, hit the bell button and the subscribe button so you'll be notified. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.